And now on to photography. The Robert Kappa Gold Medal for Exceptional Courage and Enterprise is sponsored by Getty Images. The citation goes to Halil Humra, the Associated Press for Conflict in Gaza. The award goes to Carolyn Van Houten of the Washington Post for the road to asylum inside the migrant caravans. Van Houten spent a week each month in 2018 documenting the experiences of people swept up in the migrant caravan. In El Salvador and Honduras, she witnessed daily danger and poverty that informed her understanding of why people would embark on such a journey. She embedded with the Border Patrol as it struggled to respond to orders that changed sometimes daily. She spent days at repatriation centers and tent cities. Twice she walked with caravans through Mexico for weeks, then tried to follow migrants into America, a nearly impossible task given the mass confusion. Carol Van Houten. Thank you for this honor. It is humbling to stand at this podium where so many of my journalistic heroes have stood before me. Last year, I photographed people traveling through Central America to seek asylum in the United States. In Mexico, the highway stretched for miles into the humid darkness ahead, blisters growing with each step north. Camilla clutched Kayla's hand, her little fingers holding on to the safety of her mother's perseverance. The miles went on, the darkness too. I had never seen a four-year-old walk so far. She seemed to understand that her mother's desperate motivation could not be deterred with a tantrum. Suddenly, Camilla's legs buckled and she collapsed. Too tired to scream, she sat crumpled in the road, tears running down her cheeks, her palms open to the heavens. After a few moments of rest, Kayla shifted her other daughter, Samantha, into one arm and lifted Camilla with the other. The single mother carried her daughter's miles north as the darkness of the road slowly turned to light. Any conversation about journalistic courage must also recognize the courage of the people who we photograph. Their courage is always greater than our own. In accepting this award, I also want to recognize the local journalists in Central America who continue to bravely cover their communities every day despite constant threats of violence against journalists. As journalists, we don't do this work because of the recognition we may receive, but because we believe in the importance of fairly and accurately reporting firsthand what is happening in the world and doing so in a sensitive, thoughtful, and nuanced way. I am immensely grateful to play a small part in that endeavor. Thank you.